population without access to clean water and sanitation is a population at great risk. Without clean water, we face an increased risk of waterborne diseases. A crumbling water and sanitation system will affect the health of a population, their livelihoods, and their futures. The existing water and sanitation systems in Zambia are more than 50 years old, in a poor state, and struggling to meet growing demand. Infrastructure cannot keep up with urbanization. The Copper Belt province in northern Zambia is the second most populous province in the country, with over 2 million inhabitants, 60% of whom live in underserved urban areas where access to drinking water and sanitation stands at 25%, compared to the national average of 38%. In 2014, the Zambian government, together with the European Investment Bank and Agence Française de Développement, took steps to addressing these concerns. Agence Française de Développement is supporting this process by the provision of a 50 million euro sovereign concessional loan. The investments were allocated to upgrading the water and sanitation infrastructure in the three towns serviced by the Mulonga Water and Sanitation Company. The project, which amounts to 156 million euros, has received additional funding from the Government of Zambia, the European Investment Bank, EU ACP, and the EU Water Pooling Facility Mechanism. The European Investment Bank, Europe's long-term lending institution, agreed to provide 75 million euros for the rehabilitation and expansion of water and wastewater services. The extension of the network in the peripheral districts is exclusively financed by an EU grant carried by the EIB. This funding will rehabilitate and extend works for the water and sanitation networks and infrastructure, provide supplies to reduce water that is lost through wastage and leaks, and provide technical assistance for the Mulonga Water and Sanitation Company. The project will benefit 530,000 people in Chingola, Chilila Bombwe, and Mufurila. The four main objectives that will be achieved under this project are A. Reduction in losses due to leakage and waste B. Extension of water and sanitation services to peri-urban areas C. Investment in rehabilitation and expansion of water and sanitation infrastructure and D. Capacity building of the Mulonga Water and Sanitation Company Access to cleaner water and sanitation services in these towns means better health a lower incidence of disease and easier access for those living in rural areas. The Malonga Water Project Partnership will ensure access to water and sanitation as a basic human right. We will continue to strive to ensure that everyone can enjoy the safety of clean water.